Welcome back to Live Alive, this is a YouTube channel for news, stories and analysis surrounding Liverpool Football Club. I will update new video every day, like, subscribe and turn on notifications to support me. Thomas Tuchel confirms Ryan Gravenberch's departure to Liverpool. Thomas Tuchel has confirmed that Ryan Gravenberch will be departing Bayern Munich to join Liverpool. Speculation has been rampant that the Dutch midfielder would leave the Bundesliga champions just one year after joining from Ajax. In his maiden season at Bayern Gravenberch struggled to cement his place in the club's starting eleven and made just three league starts as the club secured their 11th consecutive Bundesliga title. Gravenberch agreed personal terms for move to Anfield earlier this week, and appears to have travelled to Merseyside via private jet as the deal between the two clubs is finalised, speaking at a press conference ahead of Bayern's clash with Borussia Mönchengladbach on Saturday. Tuchel revealed that he doesn't feel that Gravenberch fits into his system at the club. He's a box-to-box -box midfielder for me, an attacking player. The main problem for him is that we don't really have a number 8 in our 4-2-3-1 system. And we're spoiled for choice up front, with really experienced players. Ryan is a very nice, hard-working, committed player. He wasn't happy with his situation. He sees the chance in Liverpool to fight for a place at number 8 in a 4-3-3. He's wanted to go for a while. An offer came in and we discussed it. It's not done yet, but the outcome is clear. Liverpool reject £150 million bid for Mohamed Salah. Liverpool have rejected a £150 million offer from Saudi Arabian side Al Ittihad for Mohamed Salah. After weeks of speculation, the Saudi Pro League club finally communicated a firm bid to Mike Gordon on Thursday evening. However, this is Anfield understands it was rejected, with the Reds determined to keep hold of their star man this summer. Al Ittihad's offer was worth a guaranteed £100 million with a further £50 million worth of add-ons included, and it remains to be seen whether they will return with an improved bid as they look to bring an Arab icon to a burgeoning league. But Liverpool are ready to stand firm, with the imminent closure of the Premier League transfer window presenting a major issue. Should they sell Salah beyond Friday's transfer deadline, then the Reds would be unable to seek a replacement until January. There is an uncertainty over when the window closes for Saudi Pro League clubs, with their official website listing the deadline as September 7th, but FIFA suggesting it is September 20th. Klopp remained adamant that nothing had changed regarding his number 11 when speaking at a press conference earlier on Friday morning, the position remains the same, absolutely, he said. No doubt about that. We cannot sell Salah. That's how it is. Nothing else to say. Asked if an offer had been received, he replied, not as far as I know, but that doesn't mean a lot, to be honest. Salah's Liverpool contract runs until summer 2025, having agreed a new deal worth a reported £350,000 per week last summer. Liverpool set for transfer decision on Derby County transfer target, Liverpool midfielder Bobby Clark looks set to be staying at Anfield after Derby County made a loan bid for the highly rated midfielder. Reports late last night suggested Derby were hoping to land the teenager who is tipped for a bright future having made the switch to the Reds from Newcastle two years ago, but Clark is now set to remain on Merseyside where the Reds are set to hand him a new contract with the 18-year-old tipped to become a future star. Our colleagues at the Liverpool Echo say the Reds are expected to retain him for the time being but could change their minds when the window opens again in January. Clark, who is the son of former Newcastle midfielder Lee, played against Derby in the Carabao Cup last season, which saw Paul Warren's side take Jurgen Klopp's side to a penalty shootout before losing on spot kicks. He also made his Premier League debut in the 9-0 thrashing of Bournemouth, which underlined how highly he is regarded by Klopp. Derby are keen on adding another midfielder to their squad before the close of play with clubs permitted to make signings until the 11pm deadline. Yesterday, assistant head coach Richie Barker said the Rams have one or two irons in the fire. In the last 24 hours, Sheffield Wednesday midfielder Will Vaux has also been mentioned as a potential target. He has just started one game for the Owls this season, despite being a mainstay in the team which secured promotion to the championship last term. Liverpool plotting surprise a deadline day move for 21-year-old midfielder. It's been a while since we've had a dramatic deadline day, but Liverpool fans may be about to see a shock move for another midfielder take fruition in the closing stages of the summer window. As reported by transfer correspondent Peter Rourke for Football Insider, Liverpool are exploring a shock deadline day move for Sunderland midfielder Dan Neal. It's safe to say that anyone reading this report may be heading straight to Google in an attempt to discover who the 21-year-old is, 
that has been thrust into the limelight. Dan Neal is currently plying his trade in the championship and has already registered a goal and an assist from midfield this season. Leading to some admirers for his work, it seems then that the Reds are amongst those interested in acquiring his services and the report goes on to say, Liverpool have a strong interest in the 21-year-old despite agreeing a £34.2 million deal for Bayern Munich midfielder Ryan Gravenberch. This would mean that we could still strike a deal with Sunderland even with the seemingly impending arrival of Ryan Gravenberch from Bayern Munich. With a matter of hours still remaining on the clock, at the time of writing, Jurgen Klopp and his recruitment team will have to act quickly if this is to be completed, given the fact that we've already signed three players and are possibly going to make it four. Then five may be somewhat of a push, time will tell but there's not much of it remaining. Liverpool earmark, sensational or late transfer for X-Man City star, Liverpool could make a sensational late move for former Manchester City winger Leroy Sane if Mo Salah leaves the club, according to reports. Widespread reports have indicated that the Reds turned down a £150 million move for Salah on transfer deadline day with Liverpool having no intention of selling the 31-year-old. The athletic journalist David Ornstein said earlier today that Liverpool insist the Egbit International is not for sale and consider the case closed. That view is not shared by the Saudis, though who are expected to maintain a strong interest. And now Sky Sports have thrown some doubt on whether Liverpool can keep resisting the urge to sell Salah if another big bid comes in with claims al Ittihad are getting encouragement in certain quarters. Sky Sports News presenter David Garrido said, al Ittihad are not giving up on signing the Liverpool forward. They haven't ruled out going in with an improved offer. Remember, Today they've already had a bid of £150 million rejected by Liverpool. One source has told Sky Sports News that the Saudi club are getting encouragement in certain quarters and a deal can still be done. While they feel they have that encouragement they will try again. For Liverpool's part their stance is firm, the player is not for sale, they have no intention of selling. And there are now claims from Football Insider that Liverpool are exploring a sensational deadline day move for Bayern Munich winger saying. Saint, who scored 39 goals in 135 appearances for Liverpool's Premier League rivals Man City, has been identified by the Reds as a top-tier potential replacement if Salah leaves the club before the transfer deadline. And that's the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.